Right, let's talk about the prophetic word again today. We're going to go to Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 and 21, and that's where we're going to stay. We're going to talk about the abilities that God and talents and gifts that God gives us. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 and 21 says, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. See, Paul is really praying this, and he is reminding the church, us too, from generation to generation, from the time he wrote this letter all the way up to us listening and reading this for ourselves, that God can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. First of all, we know that he is able to do that. And that what he is able to do exceeds abundantly above all anything that we think or we ask. So the way that we're asking, God is exceedingly abundantly above that. And the way we're thinking when it comes to God, he's exceedingly abundantly above all that. And that same ability that God has within himself is the power that works in us. So my encouragement to you as a believer is to submit your abilities to the Lord. Find out through the word of God in prayer where God wants you to be placed concerning the kingdom of God, to be an instrument for his glory. Because I could tell you in my lifetime, in the last eight, eight years, almost nine years, will be August, will be nine years, that I've gone further, I've seen more, and God has provided in such a great way that I can never save enough or work enough myself to experience all that I experienced. And that was a direct result of submitting my abilities and my gifts to Him. It's like this channel, for example. Any time that I have ever taught the Bible and took it upon myself to create Bible studies or, or do anything uh, by way of studying the Bible, I think that my intentions were good, but it wasn't according to God's will and His plan, that it was just a handful of people. And you can see in this video, in this channel, that God has provided well over 2,000 people um, to he listen to these videos. And I really appreciate every single one of you that has subscribed to this, uh, this channel. And it's so awesome to see God move in your lives uh, through this channel. But I see this channel as an example of exceedingly abundantly above all. I would never imagine or think or ask God to do what he has been doing just in this area. And this is only just a tenth of what he is doing in my life. And that's what God wants to do in yours. He wants to give you, he wants to wants you to see what he can do with what he already gave you. Your abilities, your talents, if you're painting, if you're writing, you're singing, if you're playing an instrument, if you're speaking, all those things, you know how to build that you're doing it for the kingdom of God, that it is a testimony. That is what it means to let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I believe that uh, with all my heart. The light that is upon you comes through the talents God has given you. And that's my encouragement to you today, that you would do that that you would be in prayer and in the Word of God, and God will direct you through the Word of God in prayer to how you need to perform the abilities and talents and gifts that God has given you as well. And you will see Him do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. God bless you guys. Have a great day.